Alright then, I'm going to quickly shoot off a review of this book right here. It's William Regal's Walking the Golden Mile. Now, straight away you can tell one difference between this and my other books, and this is that I bought the hardback edition. You can hear that there. Um, I bought the hardback edition because I don't know if, actually I don't know if they even brought out a paperback. I was thinking of the word then, I couldn't think of it. I didn't, don't know if they brought out a paperback, but personally, I wanted to know about this guy and I wanted to buy the book and usually I'd wait for the paperback but I thought no, I want this and plus this is the only book by an English wrestler that you can get hold of the Dynamite Kid's got a book out but I've been trying to get hold of that for many years and can't it's on eBay for about 25 quid and I'm not paying 25 quid for an old second hand paperback book so yeah, um, this is Regal's book right here publisher obviously WWE Books, year of release I think was 2003 I can't find it in there no, nothing. Wait a second. 2005. Price, because it's the hardback, 17.99. Easy to read. Yeah, it's very easy to read, and it gives a, it gives a lot of these things here. So you see this Union Jack box right here. It, that's basically stuff that's written in there, but he wants to highlight it. So if there's a particularly drug story, because it gives you a lot of information about his life and how he fell into drugs and how he had a massive drug problem and how WWE fired him, he went into rehab he regressed, is that the right word? he fell back into drugs, the, you know he was back in England for his Christmas holidays and he tells about how his, his kids were unhappy with him because he'd just be there wasted, wasting away on the couch on Christmas day inside again, coloured pictures, you've got to expect that from a hardback though, don't you? Oh, especially biography um, low points of the book it's not really that interesting. If you're not a fan of English wrestling, which also gives you a lot of information about in this book, then you're not really going to get that much out of it. But obviously, being English, I want to find out what the English circuit was like back in the day. So it gives you a lot of information about how the circuit was back then. The carnivals, the town halls, the places that they'd go to work. It gives you a lot of that in well, it gives you all of that in it. it gives you all of these stories. It's really good from that standpoint. But obviously, from an American standpoint, you don't really want to know about his life in Blackpool, England and travelling all around to Skegness and all these little shitty towns in England if I'm being honest. Written out of 10 for this book now, personally I really want to rate this highly because I really like this book but then again it's a bit boring for those of you who aren't English so again I'd have to, I'd have to give it about a 5 out of 10 because it, it isn't that great. But really insisting that he's open about his drug stories in it. You know, this I think this book was released before Eddie Guerrero died and obviously the Chris Benoit stuff before WWE started to crack down on that type of stuff. Obviously if that happened, like you won't get any of these stories nowadays, I don't think. William Regal was highly open about his drug life. He obviously he condemned it and obviously he doesn't have that now. Obviously and but I keep saying obviously sorry. Um there's a story a few years ago of he was going to get a push but he was suspended for drugs so yeah he maybe did fall back into it but they brought him back again so he must have been able to heal himself would I buy it? obviously I did buy it but for you I wouldn't buy this, would I read it? I'd read it but I'd get it from the library that is my review, 5 out of 10